Welcome to Family Outings TV. Here we are today at Winter Wonderland Hyde Park. Um, been looking forward to this one for quite a long time. Never been here. Heard great things. So we're going to go in, have a look. Um, obviously, a lot of the um, Christmas markets we've went to, um, there's not been so many rides and things. This has a lot of rides. So I'm looking forward to the atmosphere. It is obviously um, a very big event here in London, so I'm sure there's no expense spared. We'll look at the prices, look at the food, look at the Christmas stalls, things like that. Um, so we'll go in now and take a quick look. <laughs> so uh, this is the entrance, the greet you. This is the gold entrance. You can already see how big it is. Carnival games. You've got the light archway here, which we'll have a look at later in the evening, all lit up. Um, yeah, just a little bit of an overview. Uh, there's someone posing for us. Just a bit of an overview of the um, of the attraction, and we'll go take a closer look at some of the things. Um, just looking here, this um, Paddington on Ice. Um, I believe this is actually came from um, from Germany. Europa Park. If you get a chance to have a look at Europa Park on YouTube, definitely take a look. Um, it's on our list to visit in the next um, year or two. Massive theme park in Germany and certainly um, something that we're looking forward to visiting. But yeah, Paddington on Ice is um, on loan, I suppose, from um, Europa Park in Germany. It's meant to be a great show. Um, so yeah, if you, if you are coming here, you can book that in advance. Um, and it does seem quite popular. So yeah, we'll go take a look at a few things and um, <clears throat> see what's on offer. <laughs> Wouldn't be a um, winter wonderland without your market stalls, would it? You've got all your woolly hats, your standard things. Um, what you've got to bear in mind is that um, obviously this channel is for people um, <clears throat> from all around the country, but we are a coach company based in Teesside, so sometimes when I say prices are quite expensive, you've got to bear in mind that we live up north, things tend to be a bit cheaper up north they do so when I'm saying oh that's expensive uh, you're probably paying like half the price up north but yeah let's have a look at some of the food here um, burgers looking about eight pounds halloumi fries six pounds to be fair it's only slightly more expensive than some of the um, the other Christmas markets we've been visiting Nottingham yesterday was quite cheap Manchester was on the pricey side as well um, and yeah, look at this. You can't go anywhere without the um, <coughs> the Bratwurst Grill. Let's see how much these are. They're usually about £5 everywhere we've been. I'd expect these to be around about the £6 mark. Let's have a look. How much are they, mate? Perfect, cheers. So yeah, so it's £5 or £6, which is actually about the standard rate at a Christmas market, so ideal. Let's have a look at this shooting range, class. Proper shooting range, uh, air rifle. Let's have a wonder at your sweetie stalls. Hot chocolate, and then let's have a look at this. What have we got? So you've got the kids' rides, one of the kids' rides here, one of many. Hey, <laughs> class! Right in the rain, the years, my kids would love this. And then what's this one? Spinning coaster. Got to bear in mind these are all temporary roller coasters that just get put up for this event uh, and then obviously to move on to the next event. This um, this, win this Winter Wonderland does have the largest uh, travelling roller coaster which we'll have a look at later um, and I think we might be going on the Ferris wheel later, something nice and tame. But we'll have a look at the prices. Um, I know they are quite expensive. Let's go see how much this one is. <clears throat> so to go on this uh, spinning coaster, let's have a look. Uh, it's five tokens. So that's, uh, I think that's a tokens a pound. So I think it's five pound to go on this one. But you know, that's, it's not it's not too bad for, for what it is where we are.
Right, so here we are at the spinning coaster at Hyde Park, Winter Wonderland. I'm going to spin the camera now. Don't get in this very often here. Here we go. Take me cap off. Tight hold. Look at the views. Hey, hey. Over London, hey. Hopefully I can get it spinning by myself. Spin, spin, spin. Here we've got great views up here. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and again, here we go. Now we go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Last. Let's get some spinning going on. Yes. He goes to spinning. Way! Oh! Way! Here we go! Hey! <laughs> Class. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. 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 <laughs> Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. There you have it. Class. Worth a fiver, definitely. Good work. Yeah. So there you have it. Um, the spinning course for Christmas here at Hyde Park. That was class, really enjoyable. Uh, yeah, worth five pound, I'd say so. Bearing in mind, obviously, that's like a. That's, you get them at theme parks, like um, you get a similar one at Lightwater Valley. Um, you see them in, uh, around a lot of the big theme parks, those sort of spinning courses. So yeah, definitely worth five pound. I enjoyed it. Got some good spins on there, hopefully you saw that on the camera. Um, and yeah, we'll move on, keep an eye out for some other rides. There's your uh, flat ride, not in operation at the moment. Um, they're just waiting to load it up, but a uh, bit of a Santa theme on the top there. Uh, I can't go on them, they always make me sick, but um, I know that they are a lot of fun for a lot of people. Um, let's have a look, you've got the bumper cars over here. Penguin bumper cars. Class. I love how everything at the moment, um, even all the rides seem to be Christmas themed, uh, which is a nice little touch. We've got Santa over here, look at Santa's elves. And then Santa over here in the grotto. Uh, Santa's looking pretty good today. A Hyde Park here in London. Let's have a look. The place is just um, massive, overwhelming. I don't know if you can see the sun's behind it, but look at this massive... Uh, Ferris wheel here, very impressive. Hopefully we'll go up that later on in the vlog. Have a look at some views over Hyde Park so you can see the size of the place. Um, got some rides here for the little ones. Swings. And then let's have a look at this. The Yeti ride, this looks interesting. I'll try and catch some of these in, in action. Uh, Throughout the vlog, look at the Yeti, top.
So just ahead of me we've got um, Small World Adventure which I think is meant to be a little bit of a take of uh, a small world from Disney. Now I've seen the videos of this, um, I've seen the videos of this online so I won't be going on. It does. It, it's a nice little ride and little being the appropriate word it probably lasts about 90 seconds um, and I believe it's five pound to go on. Um, as I say it's the actual um, set inside really nice but it, it literally only lasts about 90 seconds so I'm going to flip the camera you can have a little look um, if you have the money to spare it is a lovely ride it just doesn't last very long okay here we go let's have a look and even on the outside it looks very impressive uh, the inside is impressive but it just doesn't last very long uh, shout out to uh, theme park worldwide as well for that vlog um, they've been here and they went on this ride and um, as I say if you want to see what the ride looks like have a look at theme park worldwide uh, very good uh, YouTube channel and um, yeah certainly worth adding to your subscribers list but I will not be going on this ride today right so now we are at the fun house fire department this is six pound an adult, five pound a child. It does look a lot of fun. We'll have a little spin around now, we can have a look. It does look quite busy at the moment. A lot of laughter coming from it, so it must be good inside. Let's have a look at this. The rotating uh, cylinder there for the kids. My son won't go on them, he's scared. Wobbly floors over here. Wait, have a look down there. Wait. Please, please, Fireman's pole. Yeah, and visually it looks really impressive. Um, yeah, that's uh, six pound an adult, five pound a child. Let's have a look around here. See what else we can see. Oh, we've got to uh, like a drinking area, looks quite quaint. Let's have a look here. You've got your uh, bratwurst on the grill here. You've got your bar over here. And you've got your seating area. I expect, like all of the other Christmas markets we've been to, that this at about 2 o'clock will be absolutely chocker uh, and you won't be able to move. Espresso, coffee, your pizza. Let's have a look. <coughs> Refue bar. Yep. So a lot of families using this area at the moment for picnics or just to grab a hot drink, rest the legs. We continue on our uh, on our adventure. Straight ahead, you can see a street food festival. I uh, love food. Let's have a look in here. I like different types of, uh, well, quirky food, something you can't get out in, in your day-to-day your -day life. So let's have a look, let's see what's on offer here. Uh, freshly prepared pizza, brownies, steak and fries. Nice. Let's have a look over here. Wow. Uh, coffee, coffee stall, hot dogs, Indonesian coconut curry, that's something different. Fried chicken burgers. Fanny's kebabs, interesting choice of name there. I'm gonna try not to laugh. The Mac Factory, yes, looking good. Rubens and Cubans toasties. These look immense. Like, let's have a look in here. Wow. They're nice. Might have to get me some of them in there later on. Got the uh, barbecue there. Yeah. 
fish and chips and then truffle burgers I've heard about these truffle burgers they are meant to be absolutely immense Um, well, we'll see. We'll see what I pick later to eat. Obviously, there's a uh, kind of one of everything as much as I would like, but um, certainly a good choice there of street food. Um, truffle burger, Mac Factory, and um, fried oh, the Indonesian coconut curry seems uh, appealing to me. I'm not too sure about. Uh, I'm not too sure about Fanny's kebabs. I might give them a miss. Wow, just missed this. So here I am just in front of the uh, the massive, let's have a look up here, the massive City Star, which is the Ferris wheel. Have a look at this. Absolutely huge. So yeah, we'll try and get up on that later and see, uh, see if we can see any of the sights. Welcome to the Haunted Mansion! So they've got the uh, Haunted Mansion ride behind me, um, looks pretty cool, saw the footage there just before, um, it's £6 an adult, £5 a child, uh, seems to be um, you're on a hanging track in a hanging car um, and you go around there, I believe there might be la actors in that one, I'm not sure if it's that one or another one on site, uh, where actors come out and actually scare you as well along the way, uh, but again the theme in considering obviously this is a temporary um, Temporary Winter Wonderland, the theming is pretty awesome on the exterior. Don't know what it's like inside, um, but yeah, it does look pretty good. And um, here we are at the world's largest traveling roller coaster. And to be honest, I've never seen one quite as big. It's, um, let's have a look, let's flip it around. <sighs> Just moving back so we can try and get as much in as possible. Uh, here we are. So this is the world's largest travelling roller coaster. It's pretty impressive if you think they just knock it up just for an event, take it down and take it somewhere else. Uh, I'll try and wait until um, a car goes round and you can have a look and see, um, see it in action. But this, I believe, I will go double check, I think it's £9 to go on this one. So obviously um, you, you pay for that luxury of having a, a big roller coaster here at the Winter Wonderland. So yeah, I'll pop on some um, footage to follow now and you can see it in action. Here we go, here we go. have it pretty impressive for a traveling course then Christmas time mistletoe and wine right so we're heading into um, 
the Bavarian village. Uh, I believe, obviously, that's um, very uh, <coughs> Bavarian-like, I suppose you would say, based on the name. Surprise, surprise. Um, we're gonna have a look in here, see what's uh, see what's on offer. Impressive entrance. Um, let's have a look. There you go. There's your entrance. Have a look in here. Oh wow! Don't know if you can see the uh, the gentleman at the end there. The big inflatable, I think he is. Let's have a look. <coughs> oh wow! And you got your open fires here. I love the smell of uh, wood burning. Let's have a look at this. Class. Keep yourself nice and warm. Carnival games. What's this here? Oh, your spiral fries. Tornado chips, five pounds. Gotta love them. That man. Oh, look, hey, he gave us a smile. Let's have a look over here. This is uh, very impressive. Very, very impressive. Um, let's have a look here. What have we got? Bratwurst. Bratwurst galore. Right, hey, look at this guy here. Oh, wooden sculptures kicking about as well. Pretty impressive. Just adds to the theming. A lot of the wood fires, the wood pits. And then there's, there's this guy here. Let's have a look. This woman. Oh, sorry. And then look at this. This, uh, this is quite impressive. Nice. And then if you're lucky, I imagine tonight, this will be absolutely chocker. A lot of uh, your Bavarian style long tables. Um, I've been at Oktoberfest myself in Munich. Quite a similar style. Not, not quite the same, but um, very similar style. Obviously the long tables, wooden, your, um, your red and your blue checkers on the tables with the placemats um, we just need some um, some German ladies carrying about 20 steins at one go very impressive that if you've been to uh, the Munich beer festival we'll head back before we go that direction um, let's have a look in these buildings here This, this is Cafe Bavaria. So again, more food, more food available. Um, sure, what's in here? Ah, yeah, so lots more seating, booth style, very nice. Again, I reckon you know, in a couple of hours, this is going to be absolutely chocker. But it's just uh, the size of this place is massive. And there's some of your uh, your prices. <coughs> we'll have a look outside again. Right, okay. Here we are, here's another uh, another entrance, impressive theming on the outside. The Almhut. Let's have a look. Is this the German style? Be a tent, no, let's have a look what it is. Again, more seating. Uh, it, it looks like the <coughs> probably some sort of entertainment on either during the day or during the evening. Bavarian village. Let's keep going. Let's keep this momentum going, but again, it's just it's so impressive. So here it is, the Bavarian village. This looks like the uh, Bavarian style um, beer tent. This looks 
a lot closer to kind of the things that you would see at the Munich Beer Festival. Um, <clears throat> probably about half the size to be fair, but very similar, long tables, uh, you've got your, your stand where you would probably have your umpa band, probably going to be playing later. This place is massive. You've got your kitchens on the side. And then you've got your um, your decorations there on the roof, which again is very prominent at the uh, Munich Beer Festival. Each beer tent has their own kind of decorations that distinguishes the brewery from a different brewery. Um, but yeah, this is, I can imagine on a night time, this is bouncing. Obviously, uh, it'll turn into generally adult only, I would imagine. Get a band up there, Bavarian band, bit of oompa, bit of a sing-along. This could be awesome. Um, shame we're leaving at 4.45 but you know you know for next year we know for next year definitely think uh, it's worth a visit if you can this year of course but um, in regards to our coach trips we haven't got any more coming here this year with availability but yeah I'll go around now do a little bit of close-ups of the um, those side stalls see what's on offer in here but I, you can see the massive steins um, which always makes it authentic and it looks like the glass as well um, he's an empty one here but just to give you an idea authentic steins I think oh no they are plastic but um, yeah adds to the adds to the uh, authenticity German style food here for sale at the side of the, um, the beer hall here which you've just seen we'll go over here and have a look at the um, the drinks available uh, look at this <laughs> nice I like the way they serve the sauces here glass curry ketchup tomato ketchup mayonnaise it's like you're milking a cow to get sauce for your food keep going <clears throat> these all your yeah, beers where steins are let's have a look just over here hello you all right <laughs> so, yeah, you're looking about six pound a pint which isn't bad at all uh, it's very very good actually I would say for London um, yeah, you pay that up north, so in, in some places. So yeah, it's not bad. You could come here, have a good night. I love the LED lighting on the roof, it changes colours. Don't know what the Germans watching probably think, probably disagree. Traditional, um, no doubt. <laughs> What's so funny, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Another one of the fun houses here at Window Wonderland. Crazy laughing Santa outside. Don't know what his problem was. But yeah, looks good fun. A lot of people coming out laughing. Look at this flat ride. This, some sort of, uh, don't know what the official name is, but it looks like uh, obviously a spinner of some sort. <sighs> Class. Right, so correction to my point earlier about the earlier haunted house. It, that one didn't have um, live actors, it is actually this one, it rings a bell now. Uh, very impressive on the outside, I'll do a flip. It's actually this one that has the live actors inside. I think there's one or two scare points in there with the live actors. Um, Dominium, that's the one. Very impressive, very impressive from the outside. Um, I'm not sure how many tokens this one is. Let's have a look. 
it's um, six tokens an adult and five tokens a child. Again, if you want to have a look on the on-ride footage, just uh, pop it in YouTube, you'll be able to find the on-ride footage of that. Um, I won't be popping on that one today either. Kebabs. Good kebabs. Now I am loving this kid's ride. Let's have a look at this in action. Uh, very festive. Let's have a spin. Look at that. How class is that? Christmas tree ride where the kids go in the baubles and spin around. Love it. How cool is that? The baubles go up and down as well. Love it. Drop tower there in the distance. We're going to do a half drop, I believe, and then they'll go back up and do the the full drop. But just uh, just to bear in mind, that's halfway up, and you can see how high it is above everything else. If you scroll if you go up a little bit, just see how high that tower goes. That's a that's a high drop tower. I think they're going to drop any second now. The drop tower itself actually spins as well, so you can get a view of the all of your surroundings instead of just um, one side they're keeping them hanging a little bit oh no they're going up must be a bit of a queue sometimes it oh no there it is hey. and now they should do the full drop here they are going up for the full drop. Some height that. Spinning there at the top. Getting a great view I'm sure. Finally! Wow! Uh, this ride on the exterior looks um, just just looks super impressive. It's nine pound a ride. Doesn't surprise me looking at the exterior. Um, I don't know what it's like on the inside, but let's have a look outside here. I mean, it wouldn't look out of place in an actual theme park. It is that impressive. So here we have another one of the um, the roller coasters here at Hyde Park, the Euro Coaster. Um, gonna flip the camera around. Another impressive uh, looking roller coaster. That's obviously a temporary roller coaster. Um, and you can see some uh, images of it in action. You can see the. Um, the carriage there just ascending. We'll try and follow it all the way around. Yeah. 
It's uh, this one's priced at six pounds for an adult, five pounds for a child. I mean, it does look a bit like a bit of a family coaster, to be honest. Um, it is uh, looks quite slow off ride. Well, you know, when you're on ride, things do seem to be a little bit quicker. But um, again, if you're with your kids, they'll be loving it. it does look a lot of fun. And again, just impressive how uh, this just gets put up for it, you know, just for you know one month and then gets uh, taken down. We'll move on. Keep looking straight ahead. You can see another traditional uh, helter skelter. And we'll try and get some images later on as it gets dark uh, of all the lighting around here. I'm sure it's even more impressive. Right, so another part obviously of uh, Winter Wonderland is the uh, Christmas markets. Uh, that's the arts and crafts and marmalades, jams, clothes, all that sort of thing. Um, so we'll have a little look, see what's on the stalls, um, see if there's anything that you, tickles your fancy that might make you want to come here. They give jams there, preserves, some ornaments over here. These look pretty cool, these lights. Uh, uh, nice, them. And they're from uh, 15 to 35 pounds, so small to large. 15 for the small ones that you saw there. So not too bad. And you got these uh, bowls up at the top there, they look really nice. 99 pounds. £20. Six items for £20. Oh look, oh look, 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 she's trying to avoid the camera. <laughs> she failed. Because I'm in control of the camera. Let's have a look. That is pretty cool ornaments. What's that, Mum? What did you want to say? <laughs> Got, that one, that oh yeah, oh nice. Yeah, you can get all your names and things on these. Seventeen ninety nine for four names plus. Wow, all of these are made out of chocolate. Pretty impressive. <laughs> if you wanted a spanner made out of chocolate, this is the place to come. Your 3D face on a teddy. This is class. Have a look at this. Class. I want my face in a teddy. So they also have a nice skating ring here at Hyde Park. Um, just looking at it now, there's also a Christmas tree in the middle, which is a nice touch. Um, if you do want to book that, I advise booking it in advance online. But well, here you are, let's have a look. So yeah, as you can see, it's very busy, but um, yeah, it's going to be 
you're um, strongly recommended to book online winter wonderland website uh, i'm not sure of the price i'd say it's around about 12 to 15 pound i guess seems to be the standard rate uh, with any kind of uh, ice ring at these uh, fest these um, winter wonderlands as i say the one in nottingham and the one in manchester was uh, 12 pound 50 so i'd expect it to be a little bit more um, but yeah take a look online winter wonderland um, and i would ad advise pre-booking for that i think you did yeah. Oh, look at this woman that brought me into the world. Well, look at that hair, ma'am. You could have combed it. Look at you. <laughs> come on, ma'am. Turn around. Oh, come on. Come on, ma'am. You brought me into the world. You're my mother. You wanted me to hang out with you? How are you, ma'am? Come on. Are we? <laughs> uh, oh well, she won't turn around. We'll get her later. So I came to Winter Wonderland today and I was speaking to my mum and I said, Mum, what is the uh, biggest thing you're looking forward to today? And she said, Tell you what, Terry, what I would love to do today is milk a cow. And I thought, Mum, what you're on about? She said, I want to milk a cow. And I just, I just let it go. It's like, What you're on about, Mum? And then, Go on, man, milk the cow. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're doing well there. Milking that cow. Go on, then. Milk the cow. Here we go. She's milking the cow. Mom, I can't believe you wanted to come to Hyde Park to milk a cow. You meant to get it in the bucket? Mum, why, why did you want to come to Hyde Park and milk a cow? <laughs> and this is the mother who didn't want to get on the camera. Oh yeah, there you go. Did well there. Well done. Pretty impressive little lampshades. All these. Giving a love song. Hey, go on the waltzes. In regards to uh, accessibility for this site, um, there is flooring down for the whole of uh, Winter Wonderland. So if you are in a wheelchair or you do have a push chair, it is easy to push those around. Um, I'll just uh, give you an example of what the floor is like. So you've got all the cushioning on the floor. It's absolutely no bother with a push chair or a wheelchair okay right so the last uh, roller coaster here at uh, Hyde Park Winter Wonderland is the, uh, the wild mouse uh, we'll do a flip now you'll have seen some footage or you'll see some footage just after this as well it's about seven pound a ride on this one for an adult and you'll see it's a lot faster than the uh, the Euro coaster that we just saw there but again, I would still class it as a, as a family coaster. It's not too uh, too fast, but it's maybe a step up from the Euro coaster. So I had another thing this morning. I woke up and I thought, you know what? It'd be great if I could go get a drink, nice alcoholic beverage in a spinning carousel bar and lo and behold I came to Hyde Park and look what I found yes Thank <laughs> you. 
So that's a clip there of another um, looks like a spinning roller coaster that goes inside. So it's a dark spinning roller coaster uh, called the Ice Mountain. Uh, looks pretty good. Maybe it's a waiting game Or maybe not as much Did I trip over my own too big? Cause I'm taking a million steps How many do I have left? Don't tell me I'm And I will answer all your questions If you ask me to But if you did not need one of your kisses so hope we post and say three words like you used to do Dancing on the kitchen tile It's all about you Cause it's all about you It's all about you baby It's all about you It's all about you Right, so it's time to go up the big Ferris wheel, get some views of the uh, the event from up in the sky. I've just realised I'm scared of heights. It's too high. This it's too high. Look. Madness. Absolute madness. I'm just sitting here. Got me mulled toffee apple cider. Ah, delightful. Right, so our day here is coming to an end. Uh, you look, it's about four o'clock now, and uh, the lights are starting to come on. And uh, that special nighttime atmosphere is beginning. So, what we'll do before we end the vlog is just go around taking a look at some of the things with the illuminations from the rides, the bars, the food stalls, um, and then we'll wrap it up. Okay, so we'll have a little look around some of the lighting, um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll wrap it up then.
Right, so there you have it from Winter Wonderland here at Hyde Park for 2019. Really impressive event, massive, loads of things to do, loads of rides, loads of food, loads of drinks, loads of authentic kind of Bavarian, um, you know, stalls, uh, beer constructions, like it was just immense. Um, I'm not personally been to an event like this, like the kind of Christmas Wonderland, and obviously it is in the capital city, so you would expect this to be the biggest in the UK, and it didn't disappoint. Um, it's expensive, you're probably going to be looking at, if you wanted to come here as an adult, uh, just, you know, as a group of adults, you're probably going to be looking at needing about £150 uh, to have a good day with you know being able to have a good few drinks a lot of food and going on some of the rides so it is a bit pricey but i, I would say it's worth it it's a great day out great atmosphere uh, and definitely recommended um so yeah and let's not forget the amazing highlight of my mother not wanting to be on camera and then for some reason she was milking a cow don't know what that's all about but um yeah great day um things that probably impressed me the most the bavarian um, i say a tent but it was um more of a you know a massive wooden um, Bavarian hut um, very impressive very large I would imagine on an evening that is absolutely bouncing I'd love to come here on a night time and um, if we just have a look over my shoulder here here we have the queues trying to get in this evening so there's obviously a lot of people that come here just for the evening probably for the lighting and also for the, um, the Bavarian village okay so I hope you've liked that uh, vlog um next up what do we have we have edinburgh next up uh we're off there next week um again we are a coach company based in teesside so if you are looking for coach trips um please have a look on our uh, website which is uh, myfamilyoutings.co.uk we will be doing more uh trips here next year 2020 to hyde park so certainly take a look um and yet please like this video subscribe to the channel which will be down here somewhere and um there's a video there that you might like as well so thanks very much for watching please comment below any recommendations what you enjoyed what you think we could do better um and thanks very much we'll see you again next time bye